In this video, we're going to learn about the different assignment operators in Python. So the assignment operator allows us to create a variable and assign a value to it. So for example, we could have number is equal to one. And the equals character there is the assignment operator. It's going to assign the value one to the variable number. It's also going to create the variable number. We could then have print number and we'll get one as output as the value that the variable number is assigned to is passed to the print function. So we could save this and run our program. And we do get one as output. Now, if there's an expression on the right hand side here, it's going to be evaluated and the result is going to be assigned to number. So for example, if we had one plus two here and we saved our program and ran it, one plus two is going to evaluate to three and three is going to be assigned to number. So we could save this and run our program. And now we get three. We could make another variable called other and we could assign to other number. So here we have other is equal to number. If we print out other, we're also going to get three. So if we save this and run the program, we get three and three. Now, sometimes in computer programming, variables are described as boxes that store information. So we could think about number as a box that stores the value three. And it might be tempting to think that here, when we assign number to other, that the value three is copied into other. But in Python, that's not exactly how variables work. In Python, variables are more like labels for values or more accurately, what we can call references. So other is actually going to refer to the same value three that number is referring to. Now, if our variables are only working with numeric values, this distinction may not really come up. But if our variables are working with things like lists and objects, this distinction can matter quite a lot. So for example, if we assign to the variable list one, the list with the elements one, two, and three, and then we assign to list two, list one, it's not like a copy of this list here is assigned to list two. List two is going to refer to this same list that list one is also referring to. So for example, if we said here, list two at the index zero is equal to 10, this will actually modify this first element in the list. Now, even though it looks like we modified list two, if we print out list one, we're going to find that the first element of the list has been modified. So if we save this and run the program, we get a list with 10, two, and three. And the reason why modifying list two also modified list one is that list two and list one are both references to the same list in memory. And so it's important that we're aware of this distinction when programming. Otherwise, we might get logic bugs in our program if we assume that this here would make a copy of list one and store that copy into list two. Now it is possible to create a copy of list one. We could have here dot copy. And this copy function will actually create a separate copy of the list that list one is referring to. And list two is going to refer to that copy, that duplicate. Then here, when we modify the first element of the list that list two is referring to, it's only gonna modify that list. So down here, if we output list one and list two, we'll see that they are distinct lists. We'll have list two and list two here. And if we save our program and run it, then we can now see that list one refers to a list with the elements one, two, and three. Whereas list two refers to a list with the elements 10, two, and three. And what happened is this here created an actual copy of this list here. And list two is now referring to that copy. Then here, we modified the first element of that copy. And that's why here we have 10, two, and three. And so again, when we use variables and the assignment operator in Python, it's very important that we're aware that the assignment operator does not create a copy. We can actually use the assignment operator multiple times in the same statement to assign a value to multiple variables. So for example, we could have here Q is equal to W is equal to 100. This will actually assign the value 100 to both W and Q. Here we could have print Q and we'll output Q. 
and we'll also output W. And if we save our program and run it, we get that both Q and W are 100. We can also assign multiple values to multiple different variables. So for example, we could have here Q comma W is equal to two comma eight. And here the value two is being assigned to Q and the value eight is being assigned to W. We could output Q and W again, and we'll see that Q is now set to two and W is now set to eight. And we do get that Q is two and W is now eight. We can actually use this technique to swap the values of Q and W. So for example, we could have here Q comma W is equal to W comma Q. And this will actually swap the values of Q and W because the current value of W is going to be assigned to Q and the current value of Q is going to be assigned to W. If we output Q and W again and then save our program and run it, we'll see that Q and W have been swapped because Q is now eight and W is now two, whereas previously Q is two and W is eight. Now there are other assignment operators that combine assignment with some arithmetic operation. So for example, let's say we have number and we assign one to number. Now let's say we want to add something to number, maybe the value two. We could have number is equal to number plus two, and this will assign to number number plus two. We could also do this though. We could have number plus equals two. And this operation here is going to add two to number and then store the result back into number. So this here is basically a short form version of this here. And because we no longer repeat number, it makes our code a bit more concise. So we could comment this out and then we could output number. We could have print number here. And if we save our program and test it out, we do get that number is three. Now for each arithmetic operator, there is one of these short form assignment operators. So for example, we could have number minus equals two. And this operator is going to subtract two from number and then store the result back into number. We could output number and number should now be one again. If we save this and run it, we do get that number is one. There is also a multiplication version so we could have here number star equals 10. And this operator here is going to multiply number by 10 and then store the result back into number. We could open number and number should now be 10 because one times 10 should give us 10. And we do get that number is 10. There's also a version of this for the power operation. So for example, we could have here number star star equals three. And this operation will take number and then raise it to the power of three and then store the result back into number. So 10 to the power of three should be 1000. Let's output number. We can save our program and run it. And we do get that number is now 1000. Let's assign 10 to number again. And then we'll try the division operation we'll have here number divide equals three. And this operation here is going to take the number divided by three and store the result back into number. We could then output number. And if we save this and run it, we get 3.333 and so on because that's what 10 divided by three results in. Now it is possible to use what's called floor division where floor division is going to give us the result of a division operation rounded down to the nearest integer. So we could have here number is equal to 10. Then we could have number divide divide equals three. And this here is floor division. It's going to give us the result rounded down to the nearest integer. We could have print number. And if we save our program and run it, now we get three because three is the result of 10 divided by three rounded down to the nearest integer. And then finally, there is the modulus operator 
where the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So we could have here number is equal to 10 and then number modulus equals 3. This operation is going to take the number, divide it by 3, and store the remainder of that operation into the number variable. We could then print number and 10 divided by 3 is going to give us 3 with one remainder. So if we save this and run the program, then we do get that number is set to 1 as expected. Now in Python, we also have what are called bitwise operators, and these operators work at the level of bits. There are also short form assignment operator versions of the bitwise operators. And similar to the arithmetic operations that we've just gone over, these assignment operators will apply the bitwise operator and then store the result back into the variable. I'll actually make another video altogether on bitwise operations where I'll cover these assignment operators as well, because I'll also need to cover how numbers are stored using bits, which is getting outside the scope of this video. So this is how we can use the assignment operators in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.